Fall is typically the time of the year where we see a lot of fluctuations in our temperature, and we are certainly going to be seeing that over the next eight days or so. We're kind of in the middle of it right now, but starting off your weekend, we're feeling pretty comfortable. We're at 53 degrees right now in Lexington. Skies stay clear overnight. We're really not seeing as much dense fog that we saw yesterday morning, so some good news there if you are going to be a little bit of an early riser kickstart your weekend. Otherwise, temperatures again feeling pretty comfortable area wide in our max track live Doppler is all quiet this morning. However, we are at least in terms of showers. We are detecting those just some ground clutter, so no precipitation falling anywhere nearby. And as we go throughout the day, we'll see a very similar scene on our max track as once again, it's going to be plenty of sunshine across our skies and that sunshine is going to help to warm things up rather quickly. By lunchtime, we'll already be in the low 70s and we'll max out today in the low 80s. So certainly feeling a little bit more like summer rather than the middle of October. And we have high pressure to thank for the dry and warm conditions today. The high is we tracking a little bit further to the east, sitting over the Carolinas as we kickstart the weekend. So that means for us with that clockwise flow, we see our wind coming in out of the south. And as we typically talk about in the summertime, that means we're going to be drawing in some of that are bumping up the temperatures and even nudging up the humidity factor just a little bit as well. Now, while things are quiet for the eastern third of the U.S., the stormy already this morning across the Midwest is a strong cold front. Also, even a warm front as well as triggering some showers and thunderstorms. That's going to be a big weather player as we look towards tomorrow. But in the meantime, you'll see on our future track nothing but sunshine as we go throughout the day and again on the warm side into the afternoon. Then here comes that cold front, not quite making it here by this time tomorrow morning, but we're already going to begin to see the clouds and also the winds starting to pick up as well. That boundary tracks closer towards the middle of the day. That's when we begin to see some showers, even some embedded thunderstorms will be possible as well. But this front is going to be carrying a one two punch. It's not just going to be the showers and storms, but also a big time drop in temperature. So by tomorrow morning, feeling warm with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, will hit our high temperature about midday again, right before the front gets here. After that, you'll notice some much cooler air, cooler air rather, working itself in as we're down into the 40s by Monday morning, looking even further upstream, low 40s in Chicago and Des Moines Monday morning. And we're going to continue to see that very crisp fall-like air moving in then as well as we continue through the early stages of next week. Now, this front is going to be a fast mover, so we're not really looking at much in terms of rainfall. In fact, our future track projecting anywhere from a tenth so maybe in pushing over uh, a quarter of an inch of rain, so really no flooding concerns there. However, it is going to be getting a little bit uh, topsy-turvy, if you will, in terms of the weather conditions over the next 24, 48, even beyond that hours as well. Now today is going to be a day to enjoy with plenty of sunshine, unseasonably warm temperatures, 83 for a high today in Lexington. Tonight we're only down into the mid 60s. The skies become partly cloudy. The wind also begins to pick up as well ahead of that cold front that again brings the scattered showers, even some embedded thunder showers, especially during the second half of the day tomorrow. Then we clear things out relatively quickly into Monday. The clouds stick around. Notice that drop in temperature. Morning lows in the 40s, even pushing the upper 30s Tuesday morning as we could be seeing the first frost of the season, especially into eastern Kentucky. But then temperatures slowly begin to moderate towards the end of the upcoming work week as we will begin to see uh, still a lot of sunshine in place. Uh, temperatures rather mild for this year, still sitting in the 70s even through next weekend. So today's the day to get outside. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's the day to just stay inside. Again,